Hello and thank you for joining. Today's tutorial is going to be Excel 2013 tutorial number 18 and today's topic is going to be a what if analysis and how to do a goal seek. I wanted to point out my website is www.10minutetrain.com and all of these tutorials will be posted out there eventually and then also here's some other links that may be of interest to you. Okay so what I've done here is I've created a couple of tables here and the first example that I'm going to show you for goal seek is to how to do a car loan analysis and in this case I'm going to do it so that I can figure out based on what monthly payment I can afford what's the price of the car that I could buy. So what I've done here is I filled in a couple couple things already so for the down payment I filled in three thousand dollars that I could afford. I could finance the car for four years so that's 48 months and then we're going to assume in this case that we could get an interest rate of 5.9 percent from the car dealer and then what I've done here is I just created a amount of the loan and that is going to be equal to the price of the car minus the down payment just to simplify things I left taxes and fees and license tags and all that out of the equation here and then what I want to do here is assume in this case that I could afford $400 a month. What car could I afford? So in this case, I'm going to go to the, oh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a formula here for payment. So I'm going to do equals PMT for payment. I'm going to hit tab, and then it brings me to the rate. The rate is going to be the interest rate here, so I'm going to do cell B5. In this case, I want a monthly rate, so I'm going to do slash 12 to divide it into 12 um, months comma number of periods so that's the number of months here comma present value is going to be the amount of the loan so in this case that's this cell right here which will equal the price of the car minus the down payment and then I go ahead and hit um, close the parentheses and I hit return and one thing I want to share with you here I'm going to do this goal seek real quick so I'm going to go to the data tab and I am going to go to the what if analysis and do a goal seek and I'm going to say if cell F3 I'm going to set my cell F3 I'm going to set it to $400 because that's what I can afford every month by changing what cell I want to change the price of the car cell and I'm going to say OK and you can see what happens there it adjusted it and said I can afford a $14,000 car but in this case I want to show you what happened here because the payments come out by default as a negative I'm going to reverse that and do a equals negative payment hit return and now what I'm going to do I'm going to go back in and do that again and do what if analysis goal seek I'm going to set cell F3 to $400 by changing cell B2 and now I say OK and you can see what happened I can afford a twenty thousand, a little over twenty thousand dollar car, three thousand dollar down payment, and then my amount of my loan is set a little over seventeen thousand, and there I can afford the four hundred dollars. Now I say okay. That's how you do the what if analysis goal seek in this case. Okay, so what I've done here is provide another example of a retirement fund goal seek scenario. So in this case, I've pre-populated much of it. I have a current savings balance of $50,000. If I have 35 years until retirement, that'll give me a lot of time to um, my money to grow. And then I have an interest rate. Let's assume you can make 8% return on your money. You could, you know, could be six, could be 10, could be five, or whatever, whatever number you think is realistic and then your future value formula what I've done here I did the same thing I put the, the uh, minus sign or negative sign in front of the formula to invert the um, values and so in here I did equals future value B14 is the rate which is the interest rate in this case we're going to compare it on an annual um, payment not a monthly payment that's going to divide it by 12 number of periods is the years until retirement the payment is going to be F13 right here the annual payment and then the present value is going to be your current savings and I'm going to leave type I'm just going to leave it as a default you can you can tweak that a little bit if you want to but that should should be um, more than sufficient for this example 
So now what I want to do is say, I want to go here, I want to do a what if analysis, I want to do a goal seek, I want to say, well, what if I wanted $1.3 million when I retire? So I could say, set cell, what cell do I want to set? I want to set future value, which is cell B15, to 1.3 million. And how do I want to do that? I want to change my annual payment or set my annual payment. So that's the cell that I want to change. And now I say OK. And you see what happened. It brought me up to $3,254 a year at 8% interest. And, that'll, and, and then what I've done, by the way, is I've gone in here in my monthly payment and I just took the annual payment and I divided it by 12 just to make it a little simple. Anyways, that's what I want to share with you. Thanks for joining. Please subscribe and take care.